Today we're doing the final product review for the Cat Dancer, which is an original interactive toy. And I was looking at, this thing's been out forever, so 1995 might have been when it first came out. And literally all it is is a piece of wire with these little paper things wrapped on one end so that you can hold it, and on the other end so the kitty can play with them. Some people have said that they move these along the wire to have different, you know, points where the kitty hits them. However, as it's pictured here, doesn't look like they're supposed to be moved about or, I mean, that was the intention. You can do whatever you want with a product, of course, but um, I'm going after what the intended purpose was. So, Chiggy really likes this thing. Look, he's like, Charlie, come on. Like, stop pretending like you give a damn. Um, and unfortunately, when I started this video, or when I picked up the cat dancer, Chiggy let out this, like, sweet little meow, like, oh! Like, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to do about that. Because I love my cat dancer. So, it, it's a wire wand toy, really. Um, it doesn't have... You can't control it as much as you could, like Tiger Teasers. And Tiger Teasers, um, they have <laughs> uh, they have a wand on theirs, and then and then wire with um, a little doodad. We've done reviews on them, so you can check them out on YouTube if you want. Get him off of there. There we go. And. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, you don't have as much control over the manipulation of it, but the cats still like it a lot. And oh, I was talking about tiger teasers. They have a piece of faux or, or real fur at the end of them. Um, so it's a, it's a plastic rod plus wire plus a piece of faux fur, whereas this is a piece of wire plus um, paper doodads. And... We were sent this, actually, it's pretty cool. One of um, Floppy Cat's readers, Piper, uh, had some Amazon gift codes and has been wanting to see Charlie and Trig review uh, the Cat Dancer, but sometimes I reach out to companies and never hear back, so I don't know if they've gotten the email, if they ignored it, um, what have you. So I always like it when a company responds, even if they can't oblige to send a product to review, at least they... Acknowledge receipt of the email. So Piper sent us the gift codes and then I ordered this on Amazon and um, that's how we got this. So it was a Floppy Cats reader, not the manufacturer that sent us this. So in the about section below, I'll include a link to uh, where you can buy the Cat Dancer on Amazon. It's really inexpensive. I think it's less than 10 bucks. I, I can't remember exactly. It might be even less than five, but maybe more than five with shipping. But it might be one of those Amazon gigs where if you order, you know, $35 or more, you get um, free shipping. Free sh super saver shipping if you're in the United States. <laughs> totally just hit him in the face. So the other night, Trig was having um, a ball in here. Trig gets the crazies and run around, runs around the downstairs, and it's pretty hysterical. I never can get it on film, though, because once he is aware of me watching him, he stops. But um, anyway, it sounds like a herd of elephants when he's doing it. And he had picked this thing up, and it had gotten caught under the cat power tower over there, and he was batting away at it because um, somehow he had gotten it to um, lodge underneath one of those feet and then he was able to, you know, make it bounce and bat it and stuff like that. So this kind of reminds me of earlier last week I posted um, a blog post about one of Floppy Cat's readers took a Bergen Turbo Scratcher and one of his family members found a scratching post at Target from Boots and Barkley, and it fit perfectly inside the Bergen Turbo Scratcher. So he put the scratcher inside the Turbo 
scratcher. So he put the sisal scratcher from Target inside the Bergen turbo scratcher, and then he put a feather wand toy at the top. Well, this would be great to stick in the sisal scratcher and have it stick out um, around the Bergen turbo track. It's nice. I mean, you can see I'm not moving it very much. I'm literally just manipulating it with my fingers and it moves a lot. So maybe maybe a good thing to work on dexterity or whatever. Oh my god, look at that face. Oh my god, I'm gonna kiss that face. What a face. As I've said with other cat wand toys, <laughs> the train is going by outside, so he's kind of freaking out. It's probably 12 miles away, but um, anyway, it kind of freaks them out sometimes. As I've said with other cat wand toys, um, you don't want to leave them out. These are under supervision, of course. Um, that's the hypocrite in me after just telling you that Trig, I had left it out and Trig had made his own game with it. Um, you got to know your cats. You got to know whether or not they're, you know, going to be smart enough and safe enough with it. I've certainly had dogs in my life that I wouldn't trust with certain toys. <laughs> um, I've got two great, smart, intelligent cats. Um, they only do silly things like fall out second story windows every now and again. Um, but, knock on wood. Oh, chicky wood, get it. So I totally trust my cats in that sense. So I'll, I, I do leave it out without worry. Um, but if I had worry, I'd put it up. I do have worry with like the Bird Catcher Pro um, because there's a string involved and it could get wrapped around their neck. But this wire is not going to do anything. Same with Tiger Teasers. I leave those out because um, they're not going to hurt anything. Sometimes I put them away, though, because the cats like to play with them so much, and the bell makes me crazy. Uh, but So that's more of a human um, personality problem for me. Tiki, I just want to give you kisses all over your face, all over your body, all over your ears, all over your paws, because it's so stinking cute. You're so freaking cute, Tiki. Tiki, I'm going to have to stop this video because you're so stinking cute. I love you. Yeah, I don't mean to hit you in the face. Maybe one time I did, but after that, I didn't mean to. Tiggy. Get him, Tiggy. Tiggy, 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 Tiggy. Tiggy, Tiggy, Tiggy. I kind of like to do these cat wand toys with my arm fully extended because it makes a um, burn in my upper arm, so I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a workout myself <laughs> as I'm sitting here on the couch playing with him. And I have mentioned that before in cat wand toy videos. Um, it's great to have these just like, you know, if you are a TV watcher and you have, you know, every uh, Monday night you watch X show and every Tuesday night you watch Y show and every Wednesday night you watch Z show, you can pull out your cat wand toy and engage your cat. It's also great for things like this. Oh, he got it. Bub, he got it. He got it.